Welcome to Robin's Roost. Today I'm going to be using the Stipple Roses stamp set and the matching die set. I have the die back here. Um, so we're going to be cutting out this large um, image. Gosh, my words never come to me when I want them. So what we're going to do is we are going to create um, an, a border so that our flowers are kind of floating um, you know the front is floating and we're going to cut the edge with this die now you might wonder how the heck are we going to do that without cutting out the whole thing we'll flip the camera and i'll show you how so to begin with our card we have a card base that is long it's four and a quarter wide by 11 and then scored at five and a half and what we want to do is we want to cut off the bottom edge of the front using the um, the large floral die from the stippled rose stamp set. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut part of it. So we're going to lay it on so that the, the two edges kind of run off of the side of the um, of the paper. And I'm going to slide my top plate over there because what we're going to do is we're going to lay the plate. See, let's got. We want to make our put our card base a little bit crooked so that this is straight. If that's making sense, I hope it does. And then let's see, not quite as crooked as I have it. So I want it to hit here and here so that it cuts just this part here. So we're just going to crank it in. Sorry for the arm. And back. And then you see it's cut. It's cut that piece there. So then all I have to do is take the scissors, maybe, and cut these the two sides. So that gives us our edge that we're going to have, you know, this pretty edge. Now, there are dies that we have, um, like there's a border dies that will do this same thing without having to. to try to put your plate you know at a certain spot but this will actually match up with my flowers when I do them so you can even let me pull in a card that I made oh here it is you can actually then stamp on there it's a little bit hard to line up because the um, this set is a red rubber set right so you know, you could you could stamp it first, but I think it'd be really hard to get it lined up. You know, when you're cutting, you could try that if you want it right directly on the paper. But we're going to actually stamp the flowers on a second piece and then adhere them on here with dimensionals. So let's, um, well, actually, let me move this out of the way for just a minute. And... I was thinking of my mom today and she loved yellow roses. So we're going to make yellow roses on this card. So we're just using the um, Tuxedo Black ink. You could of course use colors if you wanted to. We're gonna go ahead and stamp it. And it's just such a pretty image on its own. You can color this image too but I'm doing this really, really um, pretty simple, right? So no coloring. But you could do it on white and then go ahead and color it. So then all we have to do is pull our, our uh, die cut machine back in here. And this baby is actually on sale right now. It is 10% off. So if you don't have one, or if you'd like to have one set up for um, embossing and one set up for cutting. Now is the time.
I know I have a couple of them and I'm really debating about getting another one because my oldest one is um, has seen just way too many miles or cranks or however you want to say it. It's actually getting where the rollers are worn out. I've had it for about 10 years and I do a lot of cutting. So there's our, there's our die cut. And let me get this back out of the way again. So now what we're going to do is this is going to get layered on here with dimensionals. And then I, this is going to be a wedding card. Oh, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. So I'm going to take the congratulations and it, you could fancy this up more by putting um, designer paper on here, but I want it pretty plain. So I'm just going to do a congratulations across here. And then I want to put some designer series paper behind here to give it a little bit more color. You could leave it just like that. Looks great. Put a greening on the inside and you're done. Maybe a ribbon or some embellishments. But I'm going to put some paper behind it. Now, I've actually pulled out a couple different pads of paper, designer series paper. So this is the um, Full of Life. It's got all these wild, um, you know, fun colors. But I saw this one in there and I thought, this might look nice under here with the greens and the, I don't know if I'd want the blue. I'll probably cut that off if I use this one, but that would look kind of pretty with the green and the orange, kind of yellows. I also found some in the, um, oh, what's the name of this one? Bright and Beautiful. It had some pretty colors too. So, you know, this would work. I'm thinking if you're doing this for a wedding card, you want something that's pretty, um, Plain. If you were doing it maybe for a birthday card, you could go wild and, you know, candles or something like that. So I just pulled out a couple that I thought would maybe look good with the yellow. You know, with the pink and the yellow. But I think I really, really like this, um, this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. And I'll, I'll probably do it um, just a hair, like, like four and an eighth by... Um, five and a half minus an eighth, whatever that is. I, uh, my brain goes backwards sometimes. So I'm gonna go cut this. So I ended up with just a little sneak of that blue. Let's see what it's going to. Oh, and I cut it too short. Mm, I guess I didn't measure very good. I wanted it just a little bit smaller so I didn't have to worry about hemming over, but I'll, I'll just put it down. So you can see my um, five and a half minus an eighth didn't work too good, but so it's gonna go like this. And then like this. I still like it, even with the little bit of blue there. I should have maybe nudged it over a little bit more when I cut it. So we'll just lay this down. And right at the moment, I do not have... You know, we could put it this way too, couldn't we? Which way do we like better? No, I like the blue on there. Right at the moment, I do not have a really um, cool inside wedding greeting that is current. Um, I try to show you current things so that if you want to create the card yourself, oh, and I got it on there crooked. Uh, it'll be okay. If you want to uh, recreate any of these cards that I make, you can um, still get the products, right? So let's get this on here first. Well, I yammer away. I've had a busy morning. I actually, we've had rain and rain and rain here. Um, thankfully, we didn't get the wind yesterday. Some places near us had some damage. Um, but anyways, I finally got my apple tree sprayed this morning because it quit raining. And did, some, did a few garden things outside. And then my old dog decided he had to pee on the floor downstairs so I have that to take care of after I get done here because I thought I could work on that 
Well, my video was uploading. I haven't quite got this. There we go. So I like that. I actually like that color. So now we need to um, we need to add some ribbon, I think. And I also do not have. Oh, where was I going with that? My inside greeting. So the one greeting that I do have that is um, is kind of a nice one, and it's current, is this one from the Translucent Florals, wishing you all the happiness in the world. So I thought that was a good one for a wedding card. And truthfully, I should have stamped this before I glued it in, in case I boo-booed. But you know you can always um, stamp it on a piece of white and glue it on top. Whew, didn't boo-boo. All right, now ribbon. I had, I've got some baker's twine, and this is current. And like I said, I'm trying to stick with current stuff in case you want to recreate this. So I am going to tie a bow up here. And no guarantees that this is going to go well because I'm not feeling very um, steady this morning. So I tend to buy. Um, not a lot of ribbon because I don't use a lot of ribbon so I have but I do have you know I buy too much I have tons of it that is retired and right now there wasn't a lot of the current ones that really caught my fancy just just my oh, I don't like the way that looks why is it okay so anyways this would look really pretty with um, with maybe a yellow or a blue or green ribbon, but I don't have one that is current. I need more ribbon here. And if this is too painful, I'll cut it out and I'll show you the, um, the finished ribbon when I finally get it done. It might take me a half hour, but I'll get it. Patience, right? Okay, now let's see what we can do with this ribbon. And this is the, um, the baker's twine that comes in a, I think it's a five pack. You've got like a gray, a white, vanilla, crumb cake, and black. So it, it does have a lot of nice um, variations in there, kind of all the neutral tones. Now I've got to decide, I think I want this over on the edge. So it's not kind of, well, if we can get it talked into moving. There we go. Okay, now I got it where I want it. And do we want the bows, bow ends a little bit smaller? I really have it twisted here. I think I like that. Like I said, I'm not much of a ribbon girl. So you can see I'm struggling. But that's okay. It's good for my constitution, right? Let me get that open more. It's a little bugger twisted when I did my bowl. Okay. So I think this, this little bugger is not going to stay put. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my um, glue dots and I always tie a little piece of your baker's twine around here and it'll make your glue dot um, container way easier to contain, right? So I'm just going to I want this right up at the top, I think. Well, maybe I want it down a little bit like that. Okay, I'm just going to put this right here to kind of hold my, my bow right where I want it. And I've just kind of um, smooshed it into a into a glop and this bugger just is not going to stay open if you see this card again it might not have the bow on it okay there we go and then let's cut our strings just a little bit shorter so they aren't over our greeting
and then we need to add some gems and I have some sparkly gems here let's see and I think I think I'm going to use these kind of um, I don't know what you'd call them they're not copper maybe more bronzy colored ones the black ones probably would have looked good on here too let's just do one big one and two little ones okay so there is our pretty wedding card with the um, die cut edge and here you can see the, the first card that I made um, where the the flowers are just directly onto the card front Boy, I don't know we seem to be having bad light here today but that gives you some ideas of some different ways you can um, basically use the same technique and twist it a little bit and like I said you could put some um, designer series paper behind here as well if you wanted um, a card with a little bit more color so thanks for stopping by the roost and if you'd like to purchase any of these supplies I have my web address below. Have a great day.